horror author William Patterson, a.k.a. Eric Morris. And welcome to my world. So sit back and experience a new dimension in talk. And make sure to have your lucky cup of coffee here because this it is the coffee vlog. Yes, it does. First thing in the morning, I pour myself a cup. It, it helps me get myself going. It helps to wake me. Go on, scares, everybody. This is William Patterson welcoming you to the coffee vlog. Sippy, sippy. Alrighty. Well, it's been a while since I've done a coffee vlog. Um, the reason why I'm doing this one is that I was running around the internet and I saw that uh, the production Renegades is still trying to get money together for their second film. Uh, Renegades Requiem. Well, I actually looked on their uh, Kickstarter, and you know, I was surprised at how much the production has changed, and it really reminded me of what's going on in regards to Star Trek fan fiction and Star Trek fan films. Uh, the thing is that Renegades has had to take every element of Star Trek out of their production. They've had to totally restart their series and change aspects of it because Paramount Pictures has put out a dictate <clears throat> on Star Trek fan films uh, saying that uh, if they're going to go beyond $50,000, you know, they're going to get sued. Also, if they're doing a Star Trek film, it can't have the name Star Trek in the main title. It can have below it a Star Trek fan film. On top of that, they're saying that uh, these fan films cannot make their own props. They have to get props from authorized dealers which means that every prop is going to probably cost them about $150 a piece. Uh, the same with uniforms. Uh, you can't make your own uniforms. You have to get it from one of their authorized vendors, which means that Paramount gets money from it. And the $50,000 also includes uh, set costs. Also, these fan films can only be 30 minutes long. They can't be movie length. You know, among other things. But I was thinking about this, and it just totally blows me away because, you know, people are not realizing the fact that. You know, Paramount lost its lawsuit to Star Trek Axanar, the, the Star Trek fan movie that they took to court. They lost. They were suing Axanar because Axanar's budget was over a million dollars and they had uh, professional actors. You know, that's another thing. Uh, on their little dictates. They're saying that you cannot use, uh, you know, any Star Trek actor 
or any Star Trek alumni, period, in the fan films. You know, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, seriously, they lost the lawsuit. They shouldn't be dictating shit. They shouldn't be sitting there saying this, this crap. But what gets me is the Star Trek fan productions are acting like Paramount won the lawsuit. They're just basically cowering down. I mean, James Cowley has uh, given up on Star Trek New Voyages and Star Trek Phase 2. I don't know about uh, Star Trek Continues. I know the last time I looked, they were looking for budget, but still, you know, I mean, there's been a stoppage on Starship Farragut, you know, Starship Exeter. You know, it, it's ridiculous. Because the Star Trek fan films were the ones that really got people started doing these fan films. And, um,. You know, you look at you look at the Star Wars films. You know, George Lucas was suing people in the eighties. I know because uh, one of the guys I went to film school with, uh, Martin Graham, he got sued by Lucas. Of course, you know later on he ended up working for Lucas, uh, not in the film department, but actually in his corrals. Uh, Picking up uh, horse shit. But still, I think that this is outrageous. I mean, you know, fine, you know, Paramount's putting out guidelines. Well, that's suggestions. Production shouldn't have to give up. You know, these fans shouldn't have to uh, walk away from stuff that they've done. Just because Paramount is going, oh, well, we're going to put out a, an internet production, and we want to get rid of the competition. That's pretty much what it is. And it is outrageous. You know, I mean, you know, but this is, of course, my opinion, and, you know, I'm, uh, I've walked away from uh, uh, the organized Star Trek community anyways. I got, you know, I walked out of there 20 years ago. You know, I just, uh, I don't know. Anyways, so, you know, it's sad, but one amusing little thing that I saw was Star Trek Renegades. And I have to give it to Tim Russ. You know, you are a genius. You've taken out the Star Trek, but you've put in the Star Trek basically as a fuck you. Half of the cast of the new Renegades film are former Star Trek actors. And two of the leads are classic Star Trek actors. You know, you've got uh, Walter Koenig and you got Nichelle Nichols. So basically, they're going like this to Paramount. Fuck you! Which I love. I think it's great. So, you know, I say go for it, Tim Russ. You show Paramount. That your production is not going to be taken down just because they're being a bunch of petty little dickwads. You know, it's something that people need to learn. When people are being uh, petty little dickwads, you don't give up. You fight even harder. So, anyways, you know, I thought I'd just uh, bring that up and, uh, you know, vent a little bit on it. So, live long and prosper, and uh, remember to drink your coffee 
and watch your Star Trek. Also, I want to say that I went and I saw Star Trek Beyond, and I highly recommend it. Of all three of the new reboot Star Trek films, this one is the best. This one is the one that Star Trek fans will absolutely love. So, anyways, keep America strong, watch horror films, drink your coffee, and Star Trek fan film producers, keep up the fight, boys and girls. Do it!